Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how Nick Mira makes super bouncy and catchy melodies and beats for Lil Tecca, just like the beat I got right here in Logic Pro X. Let's get into the video. I started the melody with this plug from Expand right here, and this is what it's going to sound like. Real quickly, I'm just gonna get rid of the um, extra notes I added so that you guys can just see the main chord progression and then I'll move on. Alright guys, so this is the chord progression I had and this is what it's gonna sound like. After I made that bell pattern or pluck pattern, I got this piano preset from Addictive Keys and then I took the chords from that bell pattern except I played them as sustained chords instead of just like the stabs and then I added this I added this top line part right here and this is what the piano is going to sound like After I added the piano I added this key from expand and it's just going to play on the verse part and this is what it's going to sound like After I added that key, I played this um, really basic melody on my guitar, and this is what I got. And then I took that guitar, and then I duplicated the track, and then I just added low pass. And this is what the guitar is going to sound like with low pass. After that, I arranged the melody into five different sections as you can see right here, and then bounced it out into a WAV file and then just EQ'd out the low end. Alright guys, that's the entire melody. Next up we got the drums. Starting with the open hat and the hi hat, this is what they're going to sound like. Next up I added the rim shot, and I used this instead of a clap, so this is going to be like that main sound that's going to keep the most, or the majority of the rhythm for the beat. After I added in the rim, I added the super basic kick pattern. Then I added in the 808 pattern, which is just going to follow the root notes of the piano, and this is what it's going to sound like. Lastly, I added in these two perks right here, and this is what they're going to sound like. And as you guys can see, one of them is panned to the left, this one right here, and then the other one is panned to the right. After I finished the drums, I arranged it into a full beat, and then I felt like this break period right here was a little bit too empty, and I'll play it for you guys real quick. I felt it was just like really missing something, so I hooked up my mic and then I recorded in this vocal chop right here. And then I pitched it up an octave and this is what the vocal chop is gonna sound like. And it may not sound that good right now, but this is what it's gonna sound like with the melody playing. And if you guys are wondering, these are all the effects I have on it. The low pass is not necessary if you want to make it more apparent in the mix, but I use the low pass to make it like a little bit more hidden in the track. And then Pancake 2 is an effect I use just for panning it back and forth from the left and the right. After I added the vocal shops, that was pretty much the entire beat. And this is like a really common internet money or Nick Mirror type of beat because of the bells and the piano. And then the guitar was like a nice touch I like to add for the um the first part of the hook and then this little part in the verse and yeah 
Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.